Well, good morning. Uh, this is Jim from Match the Hatch Fishing, and I'm back at Cedar Creek again. And it's uh, Friday, last Friday in January 25th, I guess. And uh, I was going to go to the Gunpowder. Yesterday, I tried to fish the, or I did fish the South Branch of the Patapsco to find out it had not been stocked prior to the website report. So, last minute decided to come here. It is a uh, chilly, 32 degrees. There's guys already in the stream at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, MacGyver and Mike didn't make this trip, regrettably. So here I am, and since guys uh, already went upstream, I'm going to just uh, stay here near the bridge and uh, see how well I can do. And here we go. Else. Yeah, baby. Woohoo! All right, it's a good afternoon here. Finally found him. Found a way to catch him. I'm not happy with my chest pack. I got a net with a rock in it, but you know, something I've improvised. Fish is used to living in the rocks. He's going to be at home in my net. Well, he may not get to the net so quickly. A good one. That's it. Swim over there. Whoa, and there goes my reel. <laughs> my reel just fell off. That's not good, is it? What is going on with these lamps and reels? Yep, it all spun off. Okay, he's ready. Beauty. Big, strong fish. Okay. And my lamps and reel blew up again. And everything came off on the wrong side. So once again, because I'm a lefty, it spun off. Not good. Huh. All right. There he is. Yeah, it's about time he's going to take off. I didn't hook him twice, but there was a couple active fish. I don't know if this was him or not, but... <laughs> this new net system I have, it's a bad deal. It's fighting me on coming down. I hooked it on the wrong place, but... Oh, 
All right, finally. Get my hands on one of these things. Beauty. Yep. Another soft, subtle bite. Got a jumper. All right. Ate this crazy looking bugger. They're not striking it real hard, that's for sure. I'm gonna have to use the net again. Maybe not. Yeah, the net would have been easier. <laughs> Boy, he engulfed that thing, didn't he? All right. Thumped him, but he's gone. And there are quite a few more in there. So. Changing buggers was the uh, was the plan. Being that I'm not happy with my net hook set up here with this chest pack, and grabbing them is probably better. I'm keep getting the line caught up with my tippet, and that was a pretty easy bite. It felt like it was almost stuck on the bottom again. thing about these buggers is they do have barbs <laughs> unlike some of most of my eggs all right I got three in here I can see him chasing oh he was on there I didn't even know it They're sitting right in this area that's shaded. Uh, it's probably not showing up at home on the GoPro, but I can I can see him. Oh, all right, that's a bite. I missed him. Oh. <laughs> Be nice to get a bite that's just they just clobber it, right? But water's cold. There he is. There's the clobber. Yeah, that's a big one, too. Welcome to Cedar Creek, everybody. Let's go from zero to hero pretty quickly here. It's the fifth one I've gotten hooked here. I've got my hands on three. I'm going to have to use the net. <laughs> It's not hooked up to anything really, it's just kind of floating out there. A uh, beautiful fish. Whenever I can swim him in. I can. I may go back to the bridge. Just throw buggers. I know I can catch more in here too. I turned over two. I thought I had those. Oh, damn. He turned over. Look at that. 
That's the third one. That's the third one in a row with a short strike like that. Checked out my hook, my hook's fine. Damn. Yeah, I made sure I stuck that. No, no reel to help me out here, just my hands. And a net with a stone in it. Yeah, baby. Got five or six from this hole here, and I've missed equally that many more. Let's see if I can get him over to my net with the stone. Where'd he go? There it is. Beautiful fish, size of this thing. All right, we found a spot. I think I've got four on this crazy looking bugger. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the tip of my fly line. And with the exception of the one that kind of grabbed it and moved, these fish aren't uh, taken off with it. So I see the fly line move or sink or stop unnaturally like right there oh got a set then i think it could be a fish like that i mean he barely i could barely see my line move It feels weird not to have the extra few ounces of the fly reel. But these lamps and reels do not favor lefties who re retrieve right with their right hand and cast with their left. Okay, we're gonna use our trusty net here. <laughs> See if we get him to come upstream. I've got four or five on this fly. I'll show it to you in a minute. Show it to you again. So this crazy looking thing is the fly that kind of the bugger I've used. It's got legs and um, I don't know, it's got all sorts of stuff going on with it. And uh, it's catching them. It's got this thing. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like a, a leech. And I got a fly rod that's messed up, but that doesn't seem to be hurting us too badly here. Spent some time tying up this rig. I like this rig. But I'm not going to catch any fish here with it. There's one. Well, what do you know? I said I'm not going to catch any fish with it, and I caught 
At least I have a hook in them. He ate the leg. Enough is enough, let's catch him. Get over here. <laughs> All right, happy to have him. Look at that, ate the zebra midge. Look at that, nice. <laughs>